Hi, this is Rishin from Electronics Made Easy. Today we are going to discuss about classes and objects in Java. Okay, as you know, Java is an object-oriented programming language, which means we can create real-time objects like things in Java programming language. Okay, Java uses class to create objects. Now, what is a class? Class is a structure or a blueprint from which an object can be instantiated or which can be created okay so class is a structure or a blueprint from which we can create an object so the properties of a class is called attributes and all the functions which act on these attributes are called methods now what I mean by attributes is so if you want to create an object we will need a class that is a blueprint for creating an object so this class will be having properties uh, like uh, suppose we are having a class faculty so this faculty will be having properties like a faculty id faculty name joining date date of birth etc uh, etc et there are so many properties okay all these properties are called attributes so these are uh, data types like int string float etc okay and all the functions which utilizes these attributes are called methods so if you are utilizing the property like faculty id or faculty name in a functions in a function this function is called a method so we are referring a function as method in the java programming language now how we can declare a class we can declare a class using uh, the class keyword class keyword this is the keyword and then we can write the class using a class name suppose we are uh, creating a class declaring a class faculty we can write class faculty and then an opening curly brace so this class faculty faculty will be having properties like a faculty id so this faculty id is an integer type value so we can write the type as int then faculty underscore id uh, it can have a property like a name so we can write write string faculty name etc so these are the basic uh, attributes or properties of a faculty class and uh, now we are closing the class using closing curly brace okay so one thing to note is that uh, the keyword that we are using uh, string is having capital S so in Java we are using capital S for string okay in C++ we will be using like a small s okay so note that difference so this class is the keyword used to create a class and this faculty is the class name class name okay note this now we are going to discuss how we can create an object using a class so what is an object basically an object is an instance of a class okay and that can be created using a new operator so we are having a class faculty here and we can create an object of faculty class by using a new operator we can have so many numbers of objects of the class faculty we can uh, like uh, faculty 1 faculty 2 faculty 3 we can create so many numbers of objects of the class faculty using the new operator keyword so how this is done let's see so this is done using by writing uh, first we write the class name faculty and then we write the object name suppose the object name is fac1 fac1 so fac1 then equal to now we are using the new operator and then we are using the 
default constructor that will be as the class name itself constructor is a function construction constructor is a function which will be having the same name of the class name so like this we can create an object of a class faculty and we can create another object faculty fact2 is equal to new faculty like this we can create so many numbers of objects of class faculty okay so this 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 is the class name this is the object name and this is the default constructor okay so these are the things we need to create an object now methods what is a method method is the function which utilizes all the available attributes of a class so the general form of method is a return type then we have a method name and uh, inside the brackets we will be having parameters list and then we will be having an opening and closing brace and between those braces we will be having the method body okay this is the general form and uh, for the return type we can have integer string float etc so return type can be the data that we are returning from the method it can be int string or a float value okay then we will be having a method and parameters list for example uh, we can write void ah again we can have a return type of void okay void uh, a function name is like a display display something so since this is returning nothing void means it is returning nothing and we are not passing any parameters here so the function will be like this and will be having uh, will be having the method body here method body method body here okay so this is the general form of a method in a class okay so for creating a class we need to write the keyword class class and uh, we are giving the class name as faculty and now we are going to save this save. and now uh, we are giving it as an attribute in the faculty id faculty underscore id okay and uh, string string faculty underscore name okay and uh, now we are going going to implement a method void display void display and this method is having a method body to display the faculty id and faculty name so we are going to display this in our cmd command prompt so for that we are system system dot out dot print ln and then uh, we are going to give a string faculty id faculty id something like this space and plus uh, what what is the attribute it is the faculty what is the attribute it is a faculty id okay and we end with the semicolon and again we are going to print the faculty name so system print out dot print ln uh, opening bracket and closing bracket uh, in, instead we are going to write faculty 
name space and plus and the attribute is faculty name okay and with the semicolon now this is our faculty class and we are going to call a main method for that uh, we need public static void main and this is the main function so we need to pass an argument list here so that will be like string argument and we are giving this as a array of strings so like this this is the main program and in the main program we are going to create an object of faculty in fact we are going to create two objects of faculty class class faculty and uh, we are doing that by using the keyword new or we, we are using the new operator to create a class of faculty how can we do that we just write the faculty code i mean faculty class name and we write the faculty i mean object name then using the new operator and then the faculty class name that is the default construct okay here we have created first object fac1 of the class faculty and now we need to assign values for faculty id and faculty name how we are going to do that we just write the object name object name and using the dot operator we can access the faculty id or the faculty name and just call the faculty id and assign since it is a data type of int we can uh, give it an integer value so here i am going to give 100 as the faculty id and then we are again calling the uh, object name and the dot operator and the faculty name now we are going to give it as the faculty 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 one as its name and uh, don't forget to give the semicolon and again uh, we are going to create another faculty i mean another object uh, that has the name faculty two fac two and uh, using the new operator and the default constructor we can create the object after creating the object we are going to assign the values for faculty id faculty id uh, now here i'm going to give 200 and now again using the object name and the faculty name attribute uh, we can assign the name of the faculty here i'm going to give faculty faculty 2 as the name okay end with the semicolon and now we are calling and now we are calling the uh, display function display method of the class faculty so if i want to call the display method of the object fac1 uh, we can access that using fac1 dot display like this okay end with the semicolon and now now we are going to save this we are going to save this and we are running this okay let's see what is happening and to run that uh, we have to go to the folder that we have saved the dot uh, java file and uh, using the javac keyword and the file name that will be class faculty dot java and now okay let's see uh, i have it i'm again compiling uh, using the javac keyword okay let's see so i'm using the java keyword and the file name class faculty dot java to compile okay now the file has been compiled successfully 
and to run that we use the java keyword and the file name okay let's see so here you can see it has printed faculty id 100 and faculty name faculty 1 so what is in our code in our code uh, we have given fac1.display so it is only displaying the uh, faculty id of the first object fact1 okay if you want to display the name and id of second object fact2 we have to give uh, give fact2 does we have to call fact2.display and save this and uh, using the command prompt we can uh, run the I mean compile the faculty.java and again uh, we can run this so now you can see it has printed faculty id 200 uh, faculty name faculty 2 if you want to display both of our uh, objects then we can call faculty dot display display for both objects save this and compile using faculty java and again uh, now you can see it has printed faculty id 100 faculty name faculty 1 and faculty id 200 and the faculty i name of the second object faculty 2 so I hope this video has helped you. Thank you.